it wasn't supposed to end this way. The UCLA men's volleyball team was peaking at just the right time. They looked ready to defend their national championship. Instead, their dreams were dashed in the MPSF playoff quarterfinals at UCSB's Robertson Gymnasium. It was another tough loss for a promising UCLA team that seemed primed to bring that elusive 100th championship to Westwood. And their season didn't end on a high note, but a flat one. The Bruins had 31 service errors on the night, their highest total of the season. And they were unable to contain the Gauchos' offensive powerhouse, Evan Paddock, whose 24 kills propelled UCSB to a convincing 3-1 victory. The game was the last of the season for the Bruins and the last in the college careers of standout seniors Steve Klosterman and Paul George. Klosterman was the team's go-to hitter and led the team in kills and points scored this season. Saturday night was no different as he led all players in kills with 28 on the night. Despite the loss, Klosterman said he felt a sense of satisfaction walking off the court knowing that the Bruins had given it their all. I couldn't have done any more myself personally. I felt like I really you know, left it out there and, uh, you know, certain things didn't go our way, but um, I couldn't have done, you know, really that much different. And so I guess it's a tough one to swallow, but uh, you got to live with it. As the Bruins captain, Paul George provided both statistical and emotional leadership for a generally young team. He was first on the team in serving aces, second on the team in points scored, and third on the team in digs this season. His last outing on a college court may have been more bitter than sweet, but at the end of the night, he was all smiles as he reflected on the successes and thrills of the past season. Looking back and saying, you know, I've had a great time. I had a lot of fun tonight. I had a lot of fun all season. Whole, whole fun, whole lot of fun this whole career. And, uh, you know, I, I, can't, I can't hang my head about this loss. You know, we, we poured our heart and soul into tonight's match, and it unfortunately uh, just didn't go our way. With this season in the books, the question is what the Bruins will do next year without the offensive firepower of Klosterman and the solid leadership of George. The good news is that season junior libero Tony Kerr still will be around, and redshirt sophomore Jamie Diefenbach has proven to be a powerful hitter. Freshman Garrett Mwagutatia, Brett Perrine, and Kevin Kerr have contributed a lot on the court this year, and both Klosterman and George say they think these young players give the team a promising future. Our freshman guys, we have a good freshman class here already, you know, so uh, they'll be sophomores next year and they'll be great. We have a lot of guys coming back, you know, so uh, that team next year is looking good. You know, I told them just, uh, you know, guys keep hard working, you know, and something's going to happen good, you know, next year. Uh, it's a young team and they're going to be really, really good in the future so long as they keep at it, keep working hard, and uh, we expect the greatest things to come. Klosterman and George now find themselves in the same position as many other college seniors, reflecting on the past and looking toward the future. There's definitely some mixed emotions, you know, it's upsetting that this is the way it went down, but uh, I know, like I said, I'm just, I'm just happy that uh, I, had, I had the great run that I did. I was healthy all season long, and uh, I really just had a lot of fun, so uh, it's a little bit of a relief, you know, that it's all over now, and uh, I guess we've got to go to the real world. <laughs> For DBTV Sports, this is Courtney Bowman.